We're down by the river and we're in it. now it's time to review our GSI Pinnacle cookware set. Handy dandy container that holds all the pots and pans together and can be used as a wash basin. We have our frying pan. We got two lids for the pots. Comes with four cups and each cup also has a bowl and a little nice koozie. Lids to keep it all in. Two large pots and of course plates. All color coded. Today we're going to use the smaller of the pots and it also includes a convenient handle. Just don't leave it on the pot while it's cooking because it is metal and will heat up. We learned that the hard way. We're going to cook up lunch today and so you can see how the pots work and then we'll give you our honest review. The handle folds up and you can just pop it open and pull back on the orange, slide it into the pot very gently. There go. Done. So this is a pretty nice little spot. Started out pretty windy, but turned out nice. A little too sunny. <laughs> If that's possible, you did see some osprey, which was pretty cool. Since the pans are so light, it is a little bit harder to put the handle on. So if you just put a little pressure with those utensils, it's helpful. Let me put some water in the pot and we'll be able to test out the drain capabilities of the lid. We'll go ahead and put our lid on the pot so it cooks, boils a little bit faster. It's got a cute little handle that's actually quite convenient. And on this side are the drain holes. Oh, it's boiling. In it goes. We'll get our bowls ready and I think we'll use the one with the koozie on it since it's going to be hot. These are a convenient, fits right in the side, palm of your hand pretty easy. I'm not sure if there's a measurement in here or not. Oh wait, yes, there is. So this is actually two cups. It says on the top of the line here is two cups. This um, on the inside, it says two cups, 400 milliliters and so on and so forth. So one cup is right here. Okay, timer is done. Let's get these bad boys out of here. Again, they are pretty lightweight, so be careful. Okay, we've never done this pothole dr pot draining business. So this will be a first. Okay, here it goes. Ah! That works actually pretty good. I mean, you have to hold on to the top, which is a little bit warm, but heck, that's not too bad at all. The lid is made from silicone, so it's not burning my hand. Warm, but not, I mean, obviously I can touch it. And the water is gone. That was pretty nifty. That all in there. And then let's dump in our sausages and veggies. might be a case where a actual bowl would have been a, a good idea. These are really nice size, but obviously they're smaller, so it's a little bit harder to get stuff into it. 
Let's give this a try, ready? <laughs> now that we've done stuff in our faces with yummy ramen, here is our honest review. The pans themselves are really lightweight, um, that which is a good and a bad. The getting the handle in makes it for a little trickier. But uh, the pot size, we just use the small pot, and it's plenty big. Um, you could cook a bunch of stuff in this. It's uh, two liters, so yeah, it's really good, excellent size. We really like how they fit in your hand really well. But I did notice that this obviously is for hot food that the lids that it comes with actually only fit on the ones that have the lining. So just keep that in mind. Nice, easy, but again, only holds two cups. So a little bit harder to get some items into them. Plates just kind of remind me of picnic-y plates. You got a lid for each, each pot, hole, drain holes, awesome. Worked great, handle, excellent. Definitely needs handles because um, it does get warm and I don't know how else you would get it off without the little handle. The big pot is big, three liters. So yeah, definitely easy. And um, they do, you know, obviously they're metal, so it does heat up to the touch. So where the handle comes in handy. And again, make sure you take it off while it's cooking because the handle is metal and will heat up. Would we buy it again? Yes. Are, they are on a little bit more expensive side, but they seem like they are going to last us through quite a lot of camping trips and over the years. Eight. You know, what would have been awesome is if they had this the little neoprene thingy just on this little outside bit so that you could leave the handle on because it's cumbersome. So we did look on Amazon to get some at cheaper sets, but um, some of the reviews and such showed that the non-stick lining of the pans would flake off and stuff. So that would be not great. Um, we did end up getting these at REI. Um, if you don't have an REI um, near you, there is an Amazon link down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We have our website finished, uh, exploretrekadventure.com. Check it out. There is our favorite camping gear, our trailer build with our rooftop tent, and some of the cool things that we've used camping. Check it out. See you next time.